Hey, Mike. Hello, what's, everybody. What's up with that pen? Duck pen edition. Yeah, we're going to do <clears throat> duck pens. Uh, I don't think we've talked about any of the duck pens and all the pens I brought over. And I was thinking this morning or afternoon as it is now. Sorry, I slept till 11. So I'm yeah. still thinking this morning. But What about uh, this one here in the end? What we've got there is a Brunswick regulation duck pen. Um, it was... Uh, pretty nondescript label just a stamp basically and uh no neck markings or anything of that nature that was one of brunswick's first duck pins um they made a 10 pin very similar to that of which i do not have but i know it exists um so that's the brunswick regulation duck pin all right then we got this guy yeah, yeah everybody will see recognize that meatball logo amf made a duck pin uh with the uh meatball logo um and it's got the i believe see national duck pen bowling congress i think it's nd let's see national duck pen it's actually ndpbc got a, it's actually got a base on it I yes see. it has a base some of these do have bases um that one is lacquer coated is not plastic coated amf did make other duck pens after that which i have seen in books from the library uh but i have not seen them uh in the physical do you know so, the age of it or anything i would suspect that's probably about the same ilk as the blue ribbons and the wood weld because it's so, it's non-plastic coated like 50s yeah probably so doesn't look like it's gonna beat too much no it's in pretty good shape uh i've been pretty fortunate Not like this one definitely you yeah can see the, it got bold on <laughs> yeah it this got one whacked around it's been mishandled for years but i don't know if it's been used has it? i think it has been used i think it has some some indentions from ball impact but mm -hmm. uh but that's the amf duck pen then we got we got the, the strike, strike master. master yeah strike master made by the same company that makes the good old strike master 10 pin which if you go over about four or five 10 pins there are the strike masters uh, two different versions right there so that's the duck pen uh version they made uh, strike master made a duck pen that had that scroll label like the 10 pin does uh, I do not have one of those. I have friends that specialize more in collecting duck pins that have it. Uh, the ones I've seen come across eBay have been pretty, pretty raggedy. So I, you know, labels kind of missing. So I haven't pursued them, but they are out there. That has a bucking horse uh, in that circular logo. And uh, I'm sure it says NDB, NDPBC approved. That's the National Duck Pen Bowling Congress. Uh oh. So then we've got the Ripley duck pen, uh, same as its 10 pin cousin, the Ripley Duramark, later the Vulcan Duramark. Um, this one, I think it's kind of a cool label. It has the same label as the Ripley, except in the circle where there is ABC on the 10 pin, it's got the uh, Ripley, uh, I think that's an R, and a little bowling pin inside of it, which is kind of cool. And it was in pretty good shape. I was very fortunate there. Um, that is a Canadian five pin. How is that different from the one I've got hanging above the ball return? Yours has a different label. Other than the string hanging through it. Yeah, and yours well, looks like it's brand new, too. It is brand new. It is, it is crazing a little bit, partly because when I was cleaning the shelf there, uh, I started an avalanche of pins, uh -oh. and one of the pins... It fell and hit one of the pins laying on my bed, so it kind of, the plastic coating said, oh no. But it's still holding together, but it's any brand idea, new. Any idea of its age? I'm guessing the 60s or 70s, okay. somewhere there. And if you notice, it has um, a permit number on there, which is the same permit number as its 10-pin cousin just to the right of it, the blue label. there, And there's a blue label, blue star pin, and then if you go... Where am I looking? Right there, right there. Stop. There it ah, is. Ah, there we are. Yeah, and then it's got another label version back there, a multicolored label, very mimicky of the the label on the five pin. All right, now let me come around over yes. here to the oh, other side. Okay, let me move my shoes. You don't need to trip over anything. All right, I don't need to trip any, hurt myself anymore. Right. Mike already broke my knee. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, we won't blame Mike for this one okay. this time. So... We go on to the Red Crown, Brunswick Red Crown rubber band duck pin. Um, rubber band duck pins obviously have a rubber band about, around the belly. 
they play that up around Pittsburgh. I've seen uh, many establishments where they have rubber band duck pen. Uh, East Liberty Presbyterian Church in downtown Pencil, P Pittsburgh, excuse me, has a rec building, and it was the church was started by Vanderbilt money and. He also gave money for a recreation building, and they have rubber band duck pin bowling, set them by hand. Their rubber band duck pins are the PBS version, like the five pin, except they're a duck pin. So uh, I've been there. I've seen the bowling lanes. They have rubber band duck pin, and they also have 10 pin. Oh, very so, cool. Yeah. So but it's, it's all cool. hand set? It's all hand set. So they still use them? They still use it, wow. yes. <clears throat> so. All right. Then we go to the Brunswick Red Crown duck pen. Uh, that's just a, another standard regular duck pen. It looks a lot older. It's, uh, yeah, I, I don't know the age on that versus some of the others. I know it, we'll get to them. We're going to see the king and the queen duck pens. But uh, that one has, uh, does that have a base? No, it does not. No so base. that is older. The rubber band duck pen has a fiber base in it. And meaning it's not like a nylon ring. It's just a fiber base that some of the, even the old tin pins had. Um, but uh, that's uh, probably preceded, I would guess, preceded the king, if I had to guess. All right. Speaking of the king. Yes. There's the king duck pin. Uh, Brunswick, you know, their pins were the level of grade. You had Royalty. the king. Yeah, the king was the best. Uh, the Queen was second. Then you had the Regal and the Monarch, and then you had the Duke, which the Duke was just like a house pin yeah, for summertime. Yeah, exactly. Who exactly. Cares? Right, and the rejects. Right, exactly. So that's the King Duck pin, um, and that one's been used a good bit. I don't move him much because the paint on some on the head of the pin is kind of touchy. So I just like, yeah, well, we'll just leave him alone. I don't blame you. There's and, a nice looking one. Yeah, then we've got the queen duck pen, which is, uh, as I mentioned, it's the next grade down from the king. And uh, so many grades of pins. Yeah, and that one's got a base, um, but it just had to do with the wood quality, I think, which I think all the wood quality back then is certainly better than what we have today because pins today just don't last. And, of course, you got bowling balls. Well, if you just... ever pick up a tube before from the 60s. Yeah. It weighs twice what a two by four today weighs. All right. Like it was quality wood, where today is like quantity. Yeah, exactly. All right. And the uh, last but not least, uh, that is the King plastic coated pen. Uh, that was one of the first plastic coated pens. As you can see, it has the Brunswick B that we've all come to know that is appears on the Brunswick Score King, Score King fifty, and. Uh, B Red Crown, and of course now the Max and the uh, well, a little different version in the Max and the Score King of present day, but that was their first plastic coated duck pen. There are uh, Dura King duck pens, which I don't have, uh, and Dura King duck pens, unfortunately, like their ten pin cousin, like to crack and craze and do all that craziness. So, well, there um, we go. Yeah, so there's duck pens, all right, which we have not ever talked about. Well, thank you for talking about duck pins today. All right. Not a problem. Let's see you on the next one. All right.